Nearly 40% of Americans cannot barely get by on savings for a month. The fact that nearly half of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck is a terrible figure. There is no such thing as a guarantee as 2020 has taught us. No matter how much planning you do, something completely unforeseen might still go wrong and possibly cost you your job. People spent years developing their enterprises, but because of the lockdown, they were forced to permanently close them. However, not all crises are negative. They cause a commotion and provide everyone the chance to quickly go to the top. Just from 2019 to 2020, the United States added 2.2 new millionaires, putting it at the top of the list of nations with the most billionaires. Considering the number of people who made a fortune as a result of the crypto bomb, this puts the country at the very top of the list. If you are not one of them, don't panic. Possibilities like this arise every 5 to 10 years. You just need to be prepared for them. In actuality, you don't even need such a chance to achieve financial freedom. Dividend investing is one of the numerous financial tools available to us in the 21st century that virtually everyone can use to achieve financial independence. Compound interest is often regarded as humanity's greatest innovation, and Albert Einstein even referred to it as the eighth wonder of the world. Money makes money, and the money that makes money, well, makes money, as even Benjamin Franklin put it. Dividend investing is the best method to take advantage of the extraordinary power of compound interest. And I'll model this for you and show you the easy actions you can take right away to start building a never-ending avalanche of income flow. Want to know more about the dividend snowball effect? Just keep watching. Welcome to Rich Finance, the place where we teach you how to be smart with money so you can improve your financial future. We post multiple videos weekly, so click the subscribe button now to get the most out of your hard-earned money. One of the most frequent inquiries I receive on this channel is, I wish I had begun investing sooner. I feel like I simply don't have enough time to accumulate enough money for a comfortable retirement with enough income flow. This problem is made worse by the fact that dividend investing doesn't seem to be producing any noticeable benefits for the first few years, but that is precisely the time when you are laying the groundwork for a sizable cash flow business. I can best compare it to a long freight train in my explanation to you. A really lengthy train that is not moving. I guess you've seen this in movies if you haven't seen it in person. These trains take a very long time to start. For a while, you could possibly run or walk quicker than the train. However, once the train picks up speed and really gets moving, it has so much forward momentum and energy that it is just impossible to halt. Let's examine a real-world illustration. In this example, we'll consider a dividend stock while dividend has regularly increased throughout the course of at least 25 years. The Chevron Corporation stock ticker is CVX. I picked this dividend stock because dividend growth is the real secret to starting a large cash flow snowball. Fundamentally, getting dividends and reinvesting them as you get them does not result in a dividend snowball, but a steadily rising payout causes the snowball to grow more faster and greater. The current yield for Chevron Corporation is 3.55% and its average dividend growth rate over the past 10 years has been 5.30%. What would occur if we traveled back to 1997, back 25 years? $250 each month was invested after starting with $0. Now that inflation is constantly rising, we are aware that the times are difficult. However, the majority of common people in common families can afford to save $250 per month and most likely have the potential to grow that amount over time. However, the question continues, what is realistically feasible with a monthly investment of merely $250? Take a look at that. Your total investment balance after making just $250 a month would be almost $324,019.41. Only $75,250 of this sum is contributed, while the remaining $248,769 represents increased portfolio value. 
A dividend income of $11,184.07 per year would have been generated in the most recent calendar year. Looking at the graph, the initial five years of investing appears to be fruitless. Only $4,000 is in your portfolio. However, at this time, you are acquiring a large number of shares that will keep paying increasing dividends. If you were to extend the time period by another five years, assuming that the same price history over the ensuing five years as occurred over the previous five years, and assuming a dividend growth rate that matches the stock's 10-year compound annual growth rate, we would now have a portfolio balance of $612,937, an annual income of $17,204.49 in year 30. Remember that this is based on a contribution rate of $250 per month for the full 30 years. I believe that most people may gradually increase their retirement contributions. The key to dividend investing is income. When I say that, I'm not attempting to belittle your intelligence. We know it needs to be about how many shares you hold, which is directly associated with how much income is generated from the portfolio because dividend investing is all about income. We focus too much on portfolio balance when, in fact, what matters is how many shares of an investment are held. In a perfect world, the price of an investment would remain unchanged for a period of 15 to 20 years. Although conventional wisdom holds that this is a bad investment, you can amass a significant number of more shares over time, thanks to decreased prices and dividend reinvestment. More shares equate to higher earnings. Imagine if you could add more than $250 every month to your dividend investments. Let's up the monthly investment to $500 while using the same Chevron dividend stock. An unchanging fixed contribution amount. If you made $500 per month for the first 25 years, you would have $646,123 in your portfolio and $20,201 in yearly dividend income. If you waited an additional 5 years following the same criteria as before, you would have $1.222 million in your portfolio and $34,310 in annual dividend income. By the way, you don't need to sell investment shares to obtain this revenue because it is derived from dividends. Even if you don't reinvest dividends, it will keep running year after year and keep getting better. This is the portfolio balance and you can see the dividend snowball in action. As we mentioned before, we start out small and gradually increase our holdings over a lengthy period of time. But in the years 15 to 20 and then 25 to 30, we observe extremely rapid growth. Between the ages of 25 and up, the orange zone is followed by the blue zone. Here is a comparison of Chevron's annual income from year to year. If we continued out 35, 40, or 45 years, it would be really, really important as you'll notice that the line continues to slope higher more and more every single year. Could you merely choose to retain low-cost index funds over the long term in order to keep your investing extremely simple? Yes, and you would still be successful. What makes dividend investing so magical? Yes, I did refer to magical. Is that it? is that it places you in a position where you never have to sell shares in order to make money. You don't have to worry about when to sell shares so that you don't do it at a really low price when the markets are down since you are not the subject to the whims of the market. The snowball effect of dividend investing is incredible. It gradually multiplies your dividend money into numerous additional shares, creating an uncontrollable runaway cash flow machine. See the video description below for our best videos and resources to get the most out of your money. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel now. Check out these videos we handpicked for you and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.